hello and welcome back in the short lecture we're going to learn about device restrictions and the device administration and the profile would be the email configuration other settings uh, in, the, in the previous section we did uh, actually cover the device uh, Android device administration and now we're gonna cover on that uh, not the device restrictions but this time we're gonna look at emails and trusted certificate many other settings like uh, say PKI VPN Wi-Fi Amex profile uh, for Jibra only and all such configurations we can configure inside this uh, to begin with you need to go to Microsoft Intune portal and click on device uh, configuration and then click on create a profile that should actually uh, create a profile uh, so from the device configuration profiles and click on create a new profile give a meaningful name for example here I'm giving as the device restrictions for Android device administration for email configuration give a proper uh, description to and choose your device Android device administration and here the profile would be the this time for the email configuration and uh, here you have the two different settings one for the email other one would be the security and synchronization and the uh, other configurations for the syncing purpose so let's uh, configure the email server so when you configure the email server for example if you have the office 365 subscription you may have to enter here the email server uh, for example outlook.office365.com and the account name for example this is going to be corporate mail or your uh, office mails that information you can enter and then what is the user attribute you are gonna use it how do you identify the user object that's what the you know uh, question here it is asking for this so we can choose here uh, many things like um, uh, UPN UPN which is nothing but a user principal name and the username and the SAM account name so most of the time you know people will go for the UPN principal name because the UPN name uh, comes uh, similar as user username at the rate you know whatever the domain name is there that domain name will be uh, appearing here you can configure in such a way UPN and then the email address also most of the time the UPN name that's what the people are uh, normally configure otherwise if your co company has a different SMTP addresses for those specific users you can choose that specific uh, username uh, and that's how it's going to automatically device a configuration would be done on that specific machine now the next setting would be the authentication method you need to select here the authentication uh, in this case the username uh, password or the certificates what kind of you know, authentication you want to choose that uh, need to be you no know, choose here so if you're choosing as a username and password you need to enter the username and password once uh, the device is you know, open and uh, when you're trying to access the emails the for the first time it, it's gonna ask for the username and password and post to that it, it would be automatically configured for you the entire outlook uh, or the emails uh, would be configured and uh, for the email security purpose you can also configure SSL or uh, MIME uh, in this case uh, you can you know configure the required configurations for example in my case SSL is by default enable and synchronization is another point in the synchronization you can configure the amount of the emails to be synced for example you want to sync for only daily once or thrice a day or uh, or three days or custom or unlimited so you can choose as unlimited and then configure that specific uh, configuration so that the users can sync anytime so uh, so that the, they get the mails automatically on their devices and the next setting would be the sync schedule the sync schedule is nothing but you want to uh, check uh, go back to the go back to the your mail server and check every 50 minutes 30 minutes or 60 minutes or uh, or you don't want you to configure the specific settings so that the users would be uh, fully controlled so in our case uh, I'm gonna choose here every 15 minutes is the default configuration so that the, within that 15 minutes of time any of the emails are there that would automatically uh, comes into the device and uh, users can uh, notify that and coming back to the connect uh, type would be to sync for example uh, you want to you know uh, allow the users to sync the contact details or you want to sync even calendars tasks that kind of you know exceptions also can be configured here and uh, that would uh, enables the configurations for the email profile once you have configured this you can create and uh, then assign for that email specific settings but in our case uh, you know I'm not gonna save these things because I want to go for other settings also I wanted to show you uh, here but in your case you have to create and then you have to assign for that specific settings because all these settings are completely different I can't hold all these category or uh, profile types uh, in one setting so I'm just you know assume that you created and then assign for the users then 
you come back here and you're you know looking into the trusted certificates as a setting so here you need to give your C CE of for example I have here this uh, trusted certificates here and I can simply give this path so that it's gonna actually check up that uh, certificate so that this specific certificate will be available on your Android devices as a trusted certificate. Click on a folder that so that you can show that specific certificate. Once it's uploaded, uh, as uh, you can see here, once it is uploaded, then automatically the certificate will be distributed for those uh, devices. And that's how you're gonna configure for that uh, trusted certificate. And if you look at other SEP certificate and the PKCS, all these are the similar kind of you know, certificates. If you configure your Wi-Fi all other you know uh, configurations then you would be using these specific certificates and coming back to the VPN settings our uh, VPN settings are uh, very easy in other way to you know configure uh, it would actually talk about how you're gonna you know configure the VPN profile for the mobile devices so if you give here the as the some of the uh, connection type for example I can give uh, my connection type as uh, I can give here uh, my Redmond office VPN server VPN so if I try to you know uh, on my device if I try to see this connection name it's gonna connect but I need to give here my uh, fully qualified domain name or the public IP address where my Redmond office VPN server is exist so in my case I'm just giving my public IP 15.21. maybe 5 and now it's gonna uh, time for configuring the con uh, authentication method if your firewall has some kind of certificates you can configure that or if you have the username and password you need to give that username and password so that the users will be prompted for the username and password once they enter the username and password they can easily connect to the VPN connection now now I need to configure here what kind of a connection tab is it uh, going to be a FI access or, or Pulse Secure or Citrix single sign-on uh, or maybe the checkpoint uh, firewall so what kind of you know firewall you uh, you have on your admin office for that there would be defined uh, already predefined uh, VPN server client uh, is available for example in my case if I choose as Cisco any connect it's gonna uh, push that Cisco any connect specific settings uh, for that devices that's how you're gonna configure the VPN so once you've uh, configured this VPN settings you need to you know apply that uh, by creating here uh, and assigning to the required uh, AD groups now if I go for the Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi would be the settings uh, here I need to you know, choose either the basic or the enterprise so I can choose here the uh, these are the two specific settings which I can choose uh, one would be the basic and the basic one would definitely ask for the SSID and do you want to connect automatically or is the SSID is not uh, broadcasted in that situation so if it is hidden uh, network mode it's gonna uh, simply we need to you know choose as enable that means the network ID uh, or the SSID is not broadcasted and if I choose as the enterprise, I would ask, you know, some other uh, authentication specific to the security related specific settings. Also, it's going to ask other than the basic. In the basic, it was asking for us the SSID and automatically connect as well as the hidden network. Now, in the enterprise, I can choose here what kind of you know, authentication I need to choose here. For example, here, if I choose as the uh, EAP type, uh, it's nothing but the extensible authentication protocol, which is uh, used to authenticate uh, these securely with your Wi-Fi connections. So if I can choose that, or I can uh, choose here T TLS uh, with the EAP or with the EAP TTLS. So these are the two different uh, authentications that can be chosen uh, for the extensible authentication protocol these are the configurations would be given by your network admin or your Wi-Fi admin and all those settings uh, you can ask them and they would be supplying that required configuration including the certificates and that can be configured uh, accordingly to your uh, VPN for example here I can select the root certificate I can select even the client certificate if I use the TLS model and if if I choose TTLS again the similar method I can choose here the client authentication based on the certificate or username so these are the configurations uh, you need to get it from your Wi-Fi admin or whoever the network admin who has configured these uh, specific to Wi-Fi specific settings and once we have all those settings uh, we can click on OK and then uh, that would actually enables the uh, configuration for your Wi-Fi profile I'm just entering here my uh, Redmond Wi-Fi example and simply automatic connect and simply choose okay that would actually create me a Wi-Fi profile so the next setting in this would be the MX profile for Gbra service uh, Gbra profile like you need to you know get it uh, the Gbra specific settings from your Gbra server 
uh, and then that XML file you need to upload here that would actually configures your MX profile on those uh, machines and coming back to the other configurations uh, in this the custom settings which we need to talk about custom settings we did even in in fact we did talk about in other configurations for example here maybe for for iOS we did talk about the custom similarly we did also talk for uh, Windows 10 uh, specific to the custom uh, these are the settings which we talked about and similar configuration similar things we also need to uh, do the custom configurations for Android device administration a profile type as custom so now let's uh, configure here uh, these are the uh, custom settings as we discussed in the previous uh, type of uh, profiles or the platforms uh, like you know it's going to support only three different things uh, as in date of this recording like one would be the Wi-Fi profile with the shared key other one would be the uh, you can create an app to app VPN profile and also you can block and load the applications for Samsung not uh, because the settings are mostly for the Samsung not devices and now what I have to do is I'm going to configure here the uh, app specific one uh, let's uh, go to the uh, configuration uh, and I need to know here click into add and that's where uh, the uh, specific settings I need to you know fill up I'm giving here name as the app to app VP configuration and uh, whatever the description you want and later you need to you know give for uh, OMA URI with the specific settings which you need to you know get it uh, uh, from the uh, uh, from the Microsoft website for example for for this basically I can give here as the OMA URI and the package list uh, whatever the uh, thing I want you know give here and the data type I'm going to give here is a string and here the value should be I need to enter for example if this is Excel application or Chrome application I would be uh, taking uh, from the Android uh, web link earlier we we open the app store similar configuration we can do it and here give the values so that would actually give the um, value so these are the settings which are gonna app to app configuration for this VPN gonna uh, configure this of you're gonna you know um, create and click OK that would actually configures the app to app VPN specific custom URI uh, settings and you can apply these specific settings um, by uh, applying for uh, a specific AD groups also can be configured this is how you're going to configure for the custom settings that concludes almost all the settings what we ha have learned in the platform as Android device uh, administration and the profile types or all of these we did you know explained uh, let's move to uh, other sections thank you for watching this